Hello, this is uh, Dr. Andreas Cheng. My name is Dr. Andreas. Today, I'm going to show you, maybe you have a main experience of, of the injecting a uh, skin booster using single needle or multi-needle. But uh, there is always trauma and problem, like a complication. So most of the skin booster, maybe using a single needle means uh, leaving some trauma like a bruise or inflammation sometimes infection so today i'm going to show you how we prevent that kind of the uh, trauma or complication so first i'm going to inject the skin booster this is pink which is skin booster with the total pin which is multi-needle this one 19 pins using uh, 32 gauges which is really thin and the 0.5 millimeter needles. So before that, uh, prepare the multi needle with the uh, this is Aerosyslinge pink, which contains the uh, skin booster inside, and this fluid consists of the vitamin and uh, other effective ingredient like hyaluronic acid and cross factor and amino acid. So using that kind of the ingredient. Uh, it just helped to be rejuvenation. So that means less wrinkle and less pigmentation and more elasticity and moisture. So, okay, how it works? Assemble, just to prepare both of the device and just attach it and screw it. That's it. And before the procedure, remove the free air from the top of the multi needle. Just before, there was expelled from each of the 19 needles how we inject simple how we perform just a stamp it inject it and stamp it inject stamp inject okay there could be some of the leakage but that doesn't mean that uh, it does not penetrate the skin or uh, deliver the drugs there is just a little of the spillage and this kind of the spillage also help to absorb the skin more effectively okay she have some problem with the chins and for her forehead you see so after the procedure to rub uh, gently it is really good for massage skin absorb the agent more effectively and uh, it also prevents some inflammation and bruise. So, okay, luckily her procedure done really uh, safely, but there is some of the redness around the chin, around the cheek. So, presume if there is uh, some bruise, uh, I just uh, also recommend to use uh, one of the product, products. We call the uh, Brudum. Yeah, this is, I think that this is a world well-known kind of the uh, uh, ointment. So uh, there's many various uh, ointment for prevent the bruise, uh, which contain natural substance or vitamin K oxide. Vitamin K oxide is really all effective uh, agent or ingredient to prevent bruise. It is anticoagulate effect, one of the main mechanism of the bruise. So using this kind of the uh, cream also prevent also prevent the bruise. So as you see, so I also like to prescribe one of this product, bruise, and uh, apply just after this procedure like this. It's really simple. And uh, told her that I repeat this kind of the alignment application uh, just after the washing the face or before sleep at least two times a day. So this is for her. I'll recommend to use this one, EFI. <laughs> it is also a different one, but this is like a ointment with the EGF, which is cross factor effectively. EGF means uh, epidermal cross factor. Epidermis is important and uh, surface, which consists of the skin. Uh, and just after the, like this procedure, like um, using multi needle or laser, there could be some of the uh, lesion or some of the defect or trauma. And uh, this kind of the cross factor also have to help to heal that surface of the skin. So also strongly recommend to use it if I 
Okay, now uh, this is like uh, it is also almost a medical device. Safe for offline the medical device because I'm gonna tell you it is really dangerous and dangerous to using a steroid cream or another NSAID cream. It is really prohibited for using a breastfeeding or pregnant women. But using EGF, it is really safe. Also, this doesn't uh, doesn't affect for the systemically for the whole whole body. Most of the patient visit to me to solve the problem just after the pregnant uh, or a delivery. So after the pro pregnant or delivery, she or she always have some kind of the trauma on skin or losing the elasticity. So I also perform the laser toning or something like that. And after that, also prescribe the spoon. And uh, it's really safe. So I can tell. So how to apply? Simple. Most of the applied cream perform not by me, but by the practitioner because uh, I have to save the time and move to another room to perform the another procedure. So I just uh, let my nurse or practitioner do something like this alignment. So, okay, this is my kind of solution. So using an EFI cream or uh, nitric uh, vitamin K oxide cream like a Brudum, we can solve the problem uh, of the, you know, defect of lesion or bruise or trauma. Oh, uh, there's another another way like uh, prescribing the medicine like uh, low dose steroids or NSAID or streptomycin, but it is uh, maybe <laughs> uh, the one who listened this video, watching this video from YouTube or Instagram. You, if you're a doctor, yeah, that is a really good way. But if you're not a doctor, like practitioner or owner of the aesthetic kind of shop. Uh, maybe you cannot prescribe the medicine at that situation for alternative uh, option also like a brudum or a5 could be another solution uh, as always I'm uh, taking this video uh, for uploading YouTube so please check the YouTube and uh, click the subscribe and press that button okay thanks for watching this video bye